Yeah, this is another poem. It's called The Claw Express. Um, I don't know if I should take my teeth out or keep them in on this one. I'll keep them in. Out. In. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Certain people out there might precisely know where this is derived from. <laughs> I've got no cigarette. You don't mind if I roll a cigarette? Come on, give us a chance. I'm dying for a smoke. I know, I know. It's Some people say, it's not very professional doing this. Yeah, making us sit here and wait while you roll a cigarette. Hey, but this is a poem I'm about to do. And I think it's appropriate to do this as an opening to it. That. And here it is. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is called... Perfect mount. That was a perfect mount. Anyway, here we go. This is called the Claw Express. A woman ordered a mud crap from interstate. When it arrived, the cost she wasn't going to pay. For that, no space in the fridge. Eva, as a matter of fact, the mud crab said to her, he'd raise the capital. So the mud crab went down on Brunswick Street to busk to pay for the fare. When he got there, there were two wombats in leather. One donut fat, the other bottle thin, standing on the corner, smoking gum leaves. The donut fat one picking buckshot out of his ass, flicking brown lumps at the passing penguins. The bottle fin one, yelling at the penguins walking past. This street is dead. It stinks of rotting plastic. The mud crab agreed, shook his head and left. Tried his luck on Smith Street, got addicted to cafe latte. Started hanging around with the styrofoam crowd. Moved to Northcote. Now the mud crab works in a cafe on High Street. He never paid that fare back in the end. But there's a woman out there. When she catches up to him, things won't just heat up. The mud crab will find himself in the pot. There you go. Oh no, it's bad! <laughs>